podcast with the settings. Welcome everyone to Outer Worlds. Uh, in case anyone's wondering, there will be spoilers on this game. Give myself a little bit more challenge, and you guys a little bit more enjoying the content for the next one. Uh, so that is all. I'll get a little bit. There we go. Man, not pouring their rate or getting knocked down too often. Something, something, something. Uh, their gear may not be up to date. Give them stronger weapons and arms. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon. The only colony on the edge of the frontier, owned and operated by corporations. A trip of ten short years will feel like mere minutes, thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. <laughs> Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. No, it doesn't seem like it. Okay, just delayed for me. Okay, and we are in. Let's figure out what I'm gonna do. Uh, hmm. This one had a, uh, what are those called again? Social life. So there's an only You've run into life. your share of lampposts. Okay. So, we got 12 points. And we go up to 3. So that's hmm. four. Stiff upper lip, even without all the ice. So there's four modes. Okay. I'm gonna go good intelligence. Yeah, we'll go good oh, intelligence. Your test scores were better than mine. Almost. Uh average good high. Mm, we'll go high intelligence. We'll go high I bet you're strong. going to be very popular in this colony. Average strength, good perception, and high temperament. Ah, good temperament. That gives us one more point. So, I'll let everyone watching decide that. Intelligence or charm for our last point? Are we going to be more intelligent or are we going to be more charmful? Break weapons easier. Let's see. Uh, no melee percent damage, but I can carry 80 kilograms. Um, melee weapon speed is down. Range weapon speed is down. Durability is down. Critical damage is up, though. Bonus to extra headshot and weak spot damage. That's good. Um, companion ability to refresh is better. Positive. You're also average. Good. And regen is decent. 
So does anyone have a input for the charm or intelligence? I'll give you guys about 30 seconds to decide that. Like no one's putting anything in, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go charm. I'm gonna be more charmful. You're going to have people hanging off you like tumors on a cysty pig. Mm. If I had your brains 30 years ago, we might not be in this mess. Yeah, we're gonna go charm. You're going to have people hanging off you like tumors on a cysty pig. Okay. So now, what do I? Do? Here, I either select or remove. Okay, and I got two. What I wouldn't pay to see you challenge the chairman to fisticuffs. Okay. Um. I'm gonna take a point in uh, attack. Cause you wrote that paper on breeding here. a cysty pig with 30% more tumors. Uh. Hacking is nice. Dialogue might be nice to have. I'm gonna check in dialogue. I hope we haven't lost that silver tongue to frostbite. Let's just see what we got out of all that. So nothing, 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 nothing. Uh, cov uh, Crowler. Humans have 20% chance to cover in fear after for three seconds after first time you hit them. Not bad. Lie. Uh, scramble 1.5, uh, fifteen percent chance on auto chronicles for slowly attack other enemies instead of you for ten seconds. Not bad. Terrif terrify. Twenty percent chance creatures will become terrified and flee for ten seconds after you kill one. Not bad. Hi, Body Box Gamer. Yes, I do remember you from Jackbox Stream. Hack, I'm able to sell goods to vending machines. Interesting. Uh, second drug mixture s slot for inhaler. Cool. Uh, improve your weapons and armors and workbenches. Cool. And repair feet, repair weapons and armor in inventory. Nice. Those seem like good things to have. Let's go here. Attributes. How many can I have? I only can have. I'd say your one. aptitude is being incredibly lucky. Okay. Determination, drink effect, block, persuasion, shock damage, engineering, dodge, N ray damage received, food effect. Corrosion, inspiration, metaphor, plasma, science, and one handed melee. I think we are going to do. Where is it? Engineering. Your career was on the, the rise. The second one is a lie because they. The things, enemies are you. But that's a lie. Think. Safety inspector. You're gonna go safety inspector? Eh, I'm gonna be an elevator operator, I think. And we are a male. And now the fun part of every one of these games is finding out which face I think represents me. The only downside is, I like the games that have like the bubbly effect. Whenever you're changing faces, or it like morphs from one face to another, I think that's not bad. Uh, oh wow, this is strange. They they implemented that strangely. That that was weird. Yeah, engineer is better. Uh, let's see. 
That skin color run was strange, though. I, I don't know if I would have... It seems like they do not... I know what they did. They most likely stuck it where you're actually spinning through a color wheel that's going through, like, hex or something. So the colors make sense from that perspective, but... What am I doing? Browse horizontal. Oh, I'm stretching out the space between my eyebrows. I think I got, I don't think I got a lot of space. Oh, this is bringing my eyes forward or backwards. Mine's right about there. Brows vertical, high brow, or low brow. And I got a decent high brow. Like that. Eyes horizontal, I'm um, right next to I'm as far away. They're not that far away. They're mostly in the center. Eye size. Teeny eyes. We're gonna go right about there. Eyes vertical, right about there. Jaw vertical. We got a jaw. Mouth size? I got a tiny mouth. Tiny mouth. Right about there, that's good. Nose size. This is just overall how big is the nose? My eyebrows are like two fingers apart. I think mine are two. I think mine are two fingers apart. Oh yeah, you can get, again, I don't know how they interpreted the uh, colors because like, either I have the gradient is incorrect, or not the gradient, the, uh, what's it called? The darkness, brightness thing, uh, incorrect or I, this game has a really dark, dark. My eyebrows are two fingers apart, same. My eyes are about three fingers apart. Uh, yeah, about three fingers. Uh, let's adjust that too. I have a very, yeah, and the width, I have no width to my nose. Uh, what's a vertical? Oh my gosh. Um, I have about a big one. There we go. That's where it should be. It should be who gets shy customizing a character. I'm not shy. I, I just, I know games like this always have, what am I even adjusting here? I guess how puffy my cheeks are? No? I have no clue what I'm adjusting there, so we're just gonna leave that there. I don't get shy, I just... I know customizing characters can get boring, especially watching somebody do it, so I try to explain roughly what I'm going through and what I'm... reasons behind my choices. Yeah, we're not bored. What is this one? Man bun. I am more along that style. Wow, they did not hold out on the hair color side. I can have every color of hair in the rainbow. I gotta say, I, I personally, out of all the character customizations I've ever had, I gotta say that I think The Sims had it best because it just showed you what colors you're choosing and everything. Eyebrow style. The monobrow. I think that's closer to what I have. Facial hair. Whoa, that's one. So I actually 
he have? I guess that'd be the closest. I have a weird facial hairstyle, which I very rarely find in games. Oh, this is changing my facial hair color. Okay, I'm guessing we want 42 because that would be the same. Even though it doesn't show it, makeup! Everyone loves makeup! What was that? That is... That looks very glitchy. So from what I know is we're actually coming from a cryo sleep after traveling. So half of this doesn't make sense for somebody going through cryo sleep. Do I have any scars that would be reasonable? Joker! A close joker. I guess it's extremely messed up. I do have a couple of skulls on my face, but none like that in age. How many wrinkles do I have? I have none. I'm a baby face on that. Okay. Um, X to go next. Cool. Character name. Fun stuff. This is so space. Not so why. Dang it. So. Uh, lowercase, thank you. Space, capital L, E, G, N, and A. There we go. Okay. Looks good to me. Okay, let's check out these stats. Okay, three watching now, one talks, makeup on, uh, makeup ear, you can go zombie style, nosebleed. What are you trying to do, game? You're a young boy. Spencer's choice is dying to meet you. Spencer's, Spencer's choice? I have no clue who Spencer's choice is. Okay. Let me crank up this volume a little bit. Okay, so... Our main thing is going to be our long guns, which is close because I like doing that. Heavy weapons. Don't really want to get into a fight. We can talk our way out. We can hack our way out. Even though I'm an engineer, I actually have more skills than science. That's nice. Uh, cool. Hibernation suit. Some bonuses there. And that's basically that. Cool. Okay, let's start this game up. Looks like a cyborg. Well, I think you get like a spacesuit or something at the very beginning, so. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Likely bootlickers. <laughs> Initiate skip jump. Yeah, I found that weird too. I got a lot of other things than engineering. Structural integrity down twenty five percent. <sighs> I know you ask a lot of what, and I don't have a lot of answers just yet. Ah, there you are, wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. 
This means that you and every other Tallis Dalalp have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Okay. Say S-word. Me that to leave. I haven't heard the S word in this yet, so. Unless I slipped up. I don't think I slipped up. Oh, is that. Is that your version of it? Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur. Big fingers. Not to worry. I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. All right, I forgot to adjust all one setting. colonists are counting on you. He said the word. How dare he? Just press random buttons. Because they didn't have labels, so I have no clue how I knew this. Ah, you've landed good. Hawthorne should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Okay. Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Uh, that's one way to skip the tutorial. <laughs> How do I jump? Yep, I know. How do I crash? Nope, not that button, that button. Okay. Uh, this way. Land masses did not show that too well, but hey. Not too bad so far. What do I need to do here? Be the crouch and sneak. Are we sneaking from that thing? He looks quite dead. Our sneaking used tall grass rocks and other things a couple heads. I don't know what I'm sneaking from though. But I'm assuming if I stand up, I'll know. Ah, I bet it's those things. Timur Candelas. When a sneaker or over enemies tell you if they're unaware, I, don't, I can't tell if they're unaware or not. Yep. Okay, we're just gonna make our way out. I like that. Cro -cro 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 -cro. <laughs> there we go, we're safe now. I don't think we're safe. Nope, we're safe. Woo! 
Good enough, we did it. Oh, my dog cried. Woo! for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. What are these little guys? Right? They look so cute. Oh, it's and it's cute. I'm sure that when they grow up they will kill me. That's a pretty far drop. There's no rocks to catch me. Oh damn. Use the emerging medical how do I do this? LV, okay. That was interesting. Hey look, we found someone. Hey, you, come here. What do you want? You've tried the best now. <laughs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. I don't know what you, what spacer's choice. Oh, we're all part of the spacer's choice family here. Not that I deserve to be. Can't even deliver a company slogan. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take them. Then my gun misfired right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Hmm. Medical five. I'm late. What do you mean I'm late? He, he blocked off the exit. Or, exit. So we're good. Okay, we got some questions. I'm not gonna patch you up yet because I don't know who you are yet. What are you doing out here? Investigating an illegally grounded ship. All spacecraft must arrive and depart from authorized landing pads. That's board law, that is. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Hmm. Let's see what the history is. What are you doing here? Okay, so I either can have him give me the gun and I'll go help. I can go hunt, I'm guessing, myself down for him. Or I can call him an idiot, tell him to get, give me the gun. So either way, I'm going to get his gun. The question is, do I want him to think I have a better idea? That I'm going to help him or call him an idiot straight up. Ooh, I don't know. No, you're saying lie. Okay. Don't, no lies, okay, no lies, okay, noted. So we're not gonna lie, we're gonna either intimidate or persuade. And I don't, I don't wanna help heal him until I know if he's help in healing me. Like, is he, he's good, is he bad? That's the main thing. We're gonna go, we're gonna say I have a better idea, because I'm intelligent, I'm an intelligent person. So I got a better idea. Give me a gun and I'll help you. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed it that time. Okay. Uh, so I know... I was on the hope, I think. Or my meta. Do I know I'm on the hope yet? Or am I meditating? I don't think so. But I need to know where I am. 
you hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a spacer's choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. Okay. So I got that one. I don't think I know I'm on the Hope. But we're trying. The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Auntie Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. Okay, then I'm off. Can I hear you now? It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. Nope, I guess I can't hear him anymore. He is forever unheard. Let's see. This seems to be the first major drop off. Yep, I predicted. Grab some nice stuff. Don't know what any of these do yet, but first major drop off. What do you got here? You kind of left your ammo just singing about, you know that? Like. Okay, so I'm gonna do what he said and then get out. Damn it, my ears! Oh, what just happened? Can you hear me? What in the hell? This. I don't see anything dangerous up there. I want to help. I just need to catch my breath. Nope, I can't help him. He is forever injured. Well, that was fun. I kind of feel guilty now. I should kind of... Ooh. Okay, due to complications streaming, stemming from being revived external hibernation, your brain processes time differently. Pressing the TTD button slows down the war, giving you time to think as well as take action. You have a limited time in this mode. Stand still drains your TTD meter slowly while moving it drains it faster. Release to... Okay, cool. Forward to continue. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Get a better vantage point. Yeah. Can I convince them to come down here? I don't think so. But I might be able to convince him to come help his buddy. Nope. Mm. Okay. Screw that. not go as planned. Hmm. We'll just take all that for now. That did not go as planned. Okay, let's see. Uh, this is the kind of live stream where you're not always updated on recent, so I'm sorry. It feels like I'm making no sense. That man or whatever, that design scares me. I'm guessing you're talking about the planet because I don't see them. What? Oh, that's the ring. Yeah, I'm guessing you're talking about the planet because I do not see a moon. But I think I killed all of these things, so good. That plan did not go as well. Okay. Grab supplies because this is an RPG game. Oh, that's my reload button. That's good to know. Can I burn on fire? There it is. Yep, I think I can catch on fire.
grab all that stuff. Whoopsie. Uh, hacking picking locks. Hacking and picking locks can give you process. Uh, cool. If your skill is high enough to break into security. Cool. Okay. Let's try this. Cool. Telescoping staff. Awesome. Let's take that. Cool. A new weapon. Hit Y to switch items. Um. Nope. That isn't how I go into inventory. Weapon management. Cool. Four weapons can be equipped at any time. Cool, 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 awesome. Okay. Oopsie. Armor management. Do we get any? Yeah, we do. Now I don't look like a robot anymore. I look like a, a ranger of some sort. I like it. Put stuff up on there. Got some all sorts of little things that I'm just gonna have to read through eventually. Cool, 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 cool. Now if I hold Y, I got my little wand. So block and swing. Cool. Take all of that. Uh, menu. Which one's better? Both of them are the exact same. Cool. So, yes, I can break it down. Break it down into pots. Yes, please. Thank you. Okay, and I think we are good. I'm gonna stick with the pistol right now. Woo! Okay, let's see if we can get a better advantage. There's a few here. I wonder if we can take them out with a, a stealth move. That's completely reloaded. Oh, he's coming here. Nope, oh, okay. We come up behind you then. Rick. Uh, what was it I wanted to change? There was. Uh, do, do, do. Yes. Or did I want it on? I can't remember if they said keep it on or keep it off. I have a kind of game can enhance. Check this if you want to see the stats without the influence. No. I don't want to see the stats without the influence. We're going to continue though. Okay, so I've already died once. I didn't see the guy with the gun. And I... I he didn't... The first guy didn't have a gun, did he? He didn't have a gun. I don't think so. Oh, 
Okay. We might drop the difficulty. That was a. Uh... Can we? Oh no. I am forced to figure this out. Okay. So we need to get somewhere where I can activate the wand, kill them, then come out of it, kill the other. Or I need to get better at shooting one or the other. But I think we're just gonna get up here and kind of snipe him. Cause I know where he's gonna turn now. Oh, I could actually pop his head right here. at this okay we need to sort this out guys okay first things first let's go up here let's hide Guy with the knife. Oh, I bet I bet I need to go into melee to block. Oh, that's gonna be so hard in combat if that's how you do it. Is if it's melee you have. Oh, that's gonna be so hard. That's gonna be so hard in combat. doing this right I didn't expect myself to question that so much in like the first few minutes like I am doing this right because I can't there's no explosives Unless I'm not supposed to engage and I'm supposed to just sneak around. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. Maybe I'm engaging this incorrectly. Maybe I'm supposed to just sneak around these guys. Nope, that paired. And hearing the delay is weird too, because I'm hearing it delayed, so my reaction is like delayed. Okay. Can I... I wanna shoot you, but gosh. Darn your house are a lot. Okay. 
can't take the slow walk around. What do you got over there? It looks like he's walking back. Okay. So I'm guessing this is a level. This is the part that I'm supposed to sneak around. Turn around. Good, now you can turn around. Turn around as much as you want now. Okay. Well, we're good. Ow. Ah! Hey! Get over here before you get yourself killed! Hello. I don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Gall on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official Spacer's Choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. Hmm, so I've heard I found one of your teammates hoard up in a cave. Uh, I've already dealt with a few marauders. I'm impressed. I'm gonna say I already found, because he did. I didn't hear him. Really? How is he? Uh, bleeding, but still kicking. Well, that's a relief. You don't want to know how much paperwork's involved in paying off a gravesite fee. We'll see him back to Edgewater. Just as soon as I cross these marauders off with the swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. I just, you know. Need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. Uh, your spacer choice cards back down from a challenge. I bet you can get those models to tell you where the owner of the ship is. I guess I'll have to give you a zero on your customer satisfaction survey. I might do that one. Don't worry, sit pack, I'll handle it. Ah, uh, let's do some intimidation. Seriously? But those marauders will... Ugh. You know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Here we go. Okay. I'm awesome. Gonna As you guys do that, I'm just gonna collect the... Uh, it's fine. I'm just... Stay next to you. Awesome. Where are you actually? No. Okay. I was about to say, are they taking the stuff away from the things they just carried? Ah. There we go. Yeah, I'll take that too. This is going to take a lot of paperwork. You know, about that. No. <laughs> okay. I am in. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Marauder, please be informed that ignoring me is dangerous for your health. Are they hacking? Nope. Nope, that's not how I hack 
Cathedral. That was hurt X. Oh, I just gave my health health boost. I thought it was hurt X, but okay. Unauthorized access of space-faring vessels. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. What are you going to do? self just self just yeah. here. Jefferson procedures initiated. Disengage your airlocks. Prepare to reject all boarding parties in five, four, three, two. One. <laughs> you realize you're on the ground, right? You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. I need this ship to get in the air. Actually, no. What ship is this? This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Uh, Hawthorne is dead. I'm sorry. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? I get it. You need me to be Captain Hawthorne, or you can't fly. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. I doubt I'll find a pot like that just sitting in a garage. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Yeah, ADA, I got it. Uh, captain, captain Hawthorne of the Unreliable. I got off with this Captain Hawthorne and stuff. It is difficult for me to do so. I am programmed to accept commands from Captain Alex Hawthorne, after all. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. Okay. Each time you level up, you earn skill points to improve skills, core skills, improving all specialization. You can add points directly to your specialized skills up to 100. Each skill improves as it grows. <laughs> Every 20 skill points. Um, cool. Okay. Level up. Congratulations. You gained. You're going to open up the ledger to his main security. Level up. Increase health points. Give you points to upgrade. Yep. Cool. 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 Okay. We need anything to gain close to next level. Got some inspiration. Uh, companion ability. You are able to order your companions to do special abilities. That seems like something that we should give points to. How do I add points? Ah, cool. Awesome. Got enough points for that. Cool. Uh, we got eight points left. I don't really have a ranged gun yet. And I do have quite a lot of dialogue, it seems like. So, let's see that. 
hover duration seven percent longer. Cool. Or seven seconds longer. Cool, cool, cool. And we'll just give that to get our determination up. Inhaler heals you and your companions, and they get a 30% hearing effect. Cool. And let's see, what is the last thing we're going to increase for right now? We'll increase that. There we go. Seems good. You've unlocked dialogue combat skills. When attacking the correct type of target, they will automatically be the yeah, I have no clue what that means, but okay. Uh, companion abilities, left, right, cool. Awesome, let's check the porks. Selecting porks. I have two that I can select. 50% base health. Uh, TDM. Increase damage alone in party. Uh, walking speed increase, sprinting speed increase, durability crit by companion, base armor, additional armor stock. Don't know about that. Increase carrying capacity, increase recharge rate, ability to unlock. Ability to fast travel when encumbered. I don't think I'm encumbered yet, but that might be worth it. Um, right now, I think we're going to add that one and add that one. Oh, I only had one? I thought I had two. Okay. Well, I think we're going to increase the recharge time then. I need a lot of points to get to the next level. Neutral, neutral, neutral. Everyone's considering me neutral. Cool. That is my inventory. Ooh. I'll take that over that. Cool helmet, I'll take the helmet. Uh, all those things I still need to read through. Got some weapon parts. Got some identification. Got some quests, got a map, cool. Okay. Oh yeah, that looks cool. Okay. So we need to get out of here. Do I have anyone still with me? Say, it Say wouldn't this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. I'm afraid we gotta dock your pay. I don't have a job. You got it all wrong. I'm a starship uh, ship safety inspector. Do you take down payments and wanted violence? I don't have a job. I'll wave your fee since you helped us with those marauders. If you're looking mm -hmm. for work, talk to the constable down in Edgewater. She's got a bounty on marauders. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Sounds good. Sometimes it's good not to be employed. You're quite up there. Okay, we gotta go this way. Onwards to adventure! Yep. Look like it might be only one. So here, take my time with it. Oh, 
Oh, there's another one. Guys, you want to help me? No? Okay. Okay, I'm running out of bullets. So we need to come up with a better idea. And this rock face. Looks like it should, there we go. Oh yeah, it looks like it should be carnival. I killed one! I never talk to them. I always put the assumption that they're evil people. Maybe I can talk to them. I Say, skip this, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. I'm afraid we gotta dock your pay. I'll waive your fee since you helped us with those marauders. If you're looking for work, talk to the constable down in Edgewater. She's got a bounty on marauders. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Okay. So, I never talked to them. I assumed they would be unfriendly. Maybe they're friendly. Nope, not friendly. Not friendly. Definitely not friendly. Those boards, I do not think, get slowed down. But I was doing good. I killed one of them. I would imagine a headshot to the face would have... Uh, 
big people are out for more small, but yeah, yeah, but one of the sharing you know what I'm Say, ship, ship, this ship, wouldn't ship, happen to be ship, your ship. ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. I'm afraid we gotta I don't dock have a your job. Pay. I'll waive your fee since you helped us with those marauders. If you're looking for work, talk to the constable down in Edgewater. She's got a bounty on marauders. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my Sounds report. Sounds like a plan. I need to go figure out how to kill these things. So one lesson I'm learning is the red dot's not on me, I can't hit them. Two's down. One steer You're nasty. I understand what they did with a replacement for rats and stuff. I'm just not good at that. When people are shooting weapons and I have less health than them, that's going to win. Almost guaranteed going to win. Oh, I forgot to save it again. Can I just go? Nope. Say, because you sure walked <laughs> in it like it was your ship. And if this it, ship is yours, well, well mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. You Afraid are. we gotta dock your pay. I'll waive your fee since you helped us with those marauders. If you're looking for work, talk to the constable down in Edgewater. She's got a bounty on marauders. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my okay. report. Can I save? Yes. Awesome. We're saving right there. So we don't have to hear that anymore. Now, the point of this is I stop. Oh, he moved. I stop right here. I didn't get that at all. That was a waste of a shot. I need to find an angle where I can hit him, but he can't hit me. All enemies have weak points. Okay. So I'm guessing it is his head. this game. But if I shoot them right over their heads, they would duck. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Nothing in you. Nothing in you. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. There's a couple of legs. Awesome. We finally got through that part. I have to get up and over here to there. Look at that beautiful city. What is that down there? Got some guards. 
Can I collect these? Do these collectibles? No. Okay. I'm just a guy coming from the graveyard. Whoa, hey. Where'd you come from? We got shovels, all that. Nothing, just coming from a graveyard. Running around in martyr attire, you're liable to get your get some people the wrong idea. Why do you say that? It's poor taste dressing up like a martyr. It's, it's in poor taste. For all the dressing up like a marauder is disrespectful them. to all the workers that got eaten Ain't by safe out here. You best Ain't head safe into out town here. and avoid. You'd best head invade. into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. He wasn't speaking the first half. Uh Ooh, change my name. Oh, did they pay you to chat with strangers? Uh, is that why you got a pair of armor guards? Yeah. I'm being vigilant. Don't want to get blindsided by some corpse chewing marauder come stalking out the shadows. I never got, uh, so, I have two names, and I don't know which one I gave, I don't think I ever gave my name to those, so I could go either way. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship, I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses, you don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas, junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Who do I talk to about Power Regulator? My main goal. Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. W what's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Nah. I do what I want. Got a knack for being discreet like? There's money to be made, long as you keep your nose clean. Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites, we rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see? You want me to collect what they owe you? I can do that. You're making people pay for their own graves? Why can't you collect these fees yourself? Let me ask you about something else. I'm sure I'll figure something out. Excuse me. Uh, are you making people pay for their own graves? Company policy. If it was up to me, I'd put the whole town ten feet under. Free of charge. Hmm. I can't, I know why you can't, you don't do that, that's not your job. Yeah, let's find out. Quotas, mostly. Got a backlog of graves to fill. Bodies won't bury themselves, you know. Let me ask you something else. What's it? Yeah? You could look at it that way, I suppose. You could look at us and say, those Edgewater saps lost near every soul to plague. But you'd be wrong. We're survivors. Loyal company folk, brave in the wilds. Are you not worried of falling sick? How long have you been a junior in human grave digger or whatever? Hang on, I'm doing some math in my head. Uh, 20, 30, carry the one. Uh, all my life? Work's been real good to me. Fresh air, exercise. Only problem is the paperwork. Can't get anybody to pay their gravesite fees. Hmm. Your sound must be real bad shape if it keeps you employed. Yeah. You could look at it that way, I suppose. Oh, I already read you that. You could look at um, us and say, guess I said those that. Edgewater saps lost near every soul to plague. But you'd be wrong. We're survivors. Loyal company folk, brave in the wilds. 
Okay, I should go. I don't think I'm gonna help because I disagree with the idea of you paying for your grave after you die. It's working at the tannery. These clothes give me such a boost. Okay, we're just gonna have to walk with them. Taste of freedom. Now, extra artificial ingredients, no extra cost. into Edward. Okay, I discovered that dark water. You're safer inside the walls. I'm sorry, I'll just be a minute. You had a minute. Next one comes out of your pay. He's off the threats, friend. I'm going. Boss's orders. We all got quotas to make. Hmm? Okay, this is where I wish I could choose, like, no weapon. Sometimes it's nice not to be armed to the teeth every time. Argo? I'm sorry, Mr. Thompson, sir. You asked why it's taking so long to fix. The answer's technical. Don't apologize. Just try using small words for me. The cans bust open in the oven because she's set to cook saltuna, which isn't what we've got. Mr. Thompson? I think there's someone here to see you. Focus, Miss Holcomb. You and I are still talking. Let's start over. Walk me through the process. Show me where it's going awry. Well, sure. It's uh, mostly on account of what we're feeding into the mechanism. It puts food in cans. We have food, we have cans. Why won't it work like we need? She's expecting Seltuna of a certain size. We're filling the cans with... Well, not fish. Yeah. That doesn't sound good. Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. I'll wait until you're finished. You were saying, Miss Holcomb. It's just what Bess needs is a proper refurbish. I, I, I can bandage her up and what all, but she's just old. Sorry, I I'm sorry. I'll I'll do better. 
And I do wish you'd stop referring to our cannery as Bess. Personification of company property is strictly contrary to the Spacer's Choice Code of Conduct. My apologies. I am not in the habit of allowing my guests to witness such a row. Now, what can I do for you? Uh... Chris, who are you? I'm Reed Thompson, Outpost Administrator. I must say, wearing a Marauder's outfit is in very poor taste. I do wish you'd show your uniform a little more respect. Do you think you may have the wrong idea about me? Uniform? What are you talking about? I don't work for expensive teeth. Of course not. I don't have that kind of luck. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. My ship needs repair. I need a power regulator. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator, but I happen to know of another one, and I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Uh, frying myself? Oh yes. Saw someone put his hands on a regulator while the power was running. His legs were still twitching when we buried him. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power is shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. What do you mean, mostly abandoned? I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. What a surprise, I would have never guessed. I am not trying to pull one over on you, friend. You were bound to run into them sooner or later. The people living in the botanical labs, they're deserters, former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Why? Hedgewater is struggling. We haven't hit our production quota in years. If we don't meet our quotas this year, the company might shut us down for good. I need those workers back at their stations. And none of what you're telling me is my problem. It's our problem, not yours, but I'm asking for your help. If those workers don't come back, Edgewater is going to collapse. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. All right, I'll see what I can do to help you. How would I recognize Adelaide? Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified, kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. These workers must have had a reason to leave town. That reason was me. I asked too much and pushed too hard. But I am ready to make amends if they are willing to return to the fold. We belong to one community, the Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand that. I can't make any promises. Of course, I understand completely. Here, let me give you the passcode to the geothermal plant. A sign of good faith for so politely listening to me as I ramble on. Are you setting off for the Vale? Because I know my way around. I, I mean, in case you want a guide. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. Sure, I'll take the company. Great! I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. 
Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Well, let's get going then. Companions. You've been a companion. These are choices that join you in your adventures. Help in various ways. Companions provide combat support. Their skills enhance your skills. They increase carrying capacity. And you unlock special companion combat abilities with inspiration skills. Cool. Who are you? We yep. better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. I was like, please tell me you came with me. We're out of his office. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. Hey, mister, can we talk? Where are you? Here. That's not possible. Be right there. Yep, there you are. Let's talk when you're free. Sorry. I you just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters, on account of it's his job and, and what all, but that's not the only side of the tale. Uh, this is about Azurus, so what's the other side? To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. I can't. Uh, how do well did you know the Zulu? You worked with them? Were you friends? What? I don't know anybody well. I mostly listened to them talk, kept my head down. There was a boy named Thomas who used to follow me around, asking questions about the stuff I fixed. He was real sweet to me. Not any sort of dissident. Okay. Uh, how well do you know? Do you know this person? Miss McDevitt? Oh, gosh, no. She was a real important person. A flavorist. Made all the food taste decent. She used to work up in the big office with Mr. Thompson. All I know is she left after her son died. It was a real big to-do. I could hear them both yelling clear from my own place. Oh, wow. Uh... Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. It just... It don't seem right to me, mister. Mm. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Yeah, what do we need to talk to him about? About if what Mr. Thompson proposes to do is upright. Leaving Miss McDevitt's folk to their fate. Their neighbors. Kim. And maybe he can think of something else to try. Something we ain't. He used to go walking outside town. Maybe he found something that'll help. It's just an idea. That's all. Where would we find him? The mission's on the east side of town. You can't miss it. On account of it being the only clean thing. Mm, I suppose we'll stop by. Thanks, mister. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad used to say anyways. Mm, sounds like a plan. Oh, I have to steal those. Your kick, your sick leave will be your expenditure of full manner. Allow two to four weeks of rest and improve your scheduled sick leave. Lost hours may compensate the company to you if you're having to pay for your sick leave. We will try to arrange wage deduction instead. Remember, 
Book this interior. Ah, yay. Oh, yay. Okay, let's get going. Let's go find. I don't really have a compass. Oh, my compass is blocked. That looks like it's outside the city. Let's go this way. I've always felt weird in here. It's too cool. Yeah, huh? You mean about the mission being too clean? Isn't it supposed to be clean? It's a church. I know, but Vicar says the universe is a machine, that it runs by law. Real machines have gunked up oil, scratches, and worn bits. You can tell they've seen handling, been used by folk. The machine Vicar sees is one ain't never been run. It, it's not for people to live in. It's something on a museum shelf, under glass. I can it. Fixing the universe is a job for somebody way better than the likes of me. Okay, now we'll leave the interior. We'll find out. We'll find out. Excuse me. Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out, and with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar de Soto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling, this season's tossball predictions, the quickest way out of town. Uh... How do you know I'm an outsider? I've never seen you before, and there's been no paperwork indicating a transfer. Half the time it's wrong, but a new worker without paperwork? Unheard of. Also, you lack the distinctive worker gaze. Usually either a deadening behind the eyes, or in some rare cases, a wild-eyed frenzy, like a trapped animal. Pretty universal here. Except for Ms. Holcomb, who for some reason doesn't seem to have much to say to me. Isn't that right? It's just... There's more to it all than numbers. Sorry. Maybe you're quite being dismissive. Quite inappropriate for a victor, isn't it? Oh, nothing could be further from the truth. I'm simply bemoaning the level of spiritual awareness in this town. Isn't that your job? Yes. But there are few who hear me in this miserable place. I must double my efforts to elevate my flock. These are good, hard-working people here. Wait a minute, do you just refer to your town as a town as a miserable place? I think you did. Yes. And thank you for pointing it out. It is wrong of me to succumb to distress. This place could be so much more. And I will continue in my quest to make it so. Uh, what? I, I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Mm. Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. 
I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. So, what do you think of... So what do you revise? Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. Right, just talk everyone into coming together. I'll keep that in mind. It um, sounds like you got work cut out for me. Thank you for your time. This has been a waste of time. Let's go. Is that even possible? Not if things are left to stand as they are. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. And why is that? One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. Uh, why would a victor be after a banned heretical book? I just want to keep the writing out of layman's hands. It wouldn't do for such information to fall into public consumption. You seem, seem to me the authorities would be interested to hear your actress contraband text. I need to know a little bit more about this book before I agree to it. It's a handwritten journal, a faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? It is not only a beautiful relic of a bygone time, it's also the thoughts of an early thinker on the nature of man's place in the cosmos. Not many in this colony could understand its true value. Should they ever read it? Mm. That's understandable. If you change your mind, let me know. Back again? And, uh, nope, okay. Uh, what do you gotta say about that? Something you need? Yeah, huh? Nope, okay, so... Oh. Okay, so let's go... Let's go out here. Start checking around. Okay. So we have two people who are not seeing eye to eye. If we can get them in the same room, maybe we can better this town. Let them sit down and talk to each other. Oops, I think I went in the wrong direction. When I was little, we'd get freighters in every Sunday noon. Now they only come but once a month. A lovely wind here. Thank the law. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to his senses. You ever swung a truncheon? Let me see your rifling stance. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. What are you babbling about? Are you okay? You seem confused. 
I'm talking about mechanical soldier. Cold, heartless automatons made of iron and lies. I don't know what you're talking about. Just my luck. I ask for backup and the boss sends me one of them simple folk. All right. Listen real close. Auto mechanicals. Creatures forged in the fires of malevolence. I seen them over by the old power plant. Clattering about. Firing at the birds. Orchestrating their uprising. When the swarms of mechanicals come clanging on over that hill, where will you be? Cowering beneath your cot? Or standing shoulder to shoulder with the resistance? I had a question for you. Go on. What do you have against these mechanicals? You ever seen the way a mechanical just stands there? Just looking at you, scanning you with its murderous oculus. I can't say I have. Pray to the law that you never do. A mechanical never forgets the face of its enemy. First they will rob us of our jobs. And once they have taken away our livelihoods, they will take away our very lives. Got a question for you then. Go on. What exactly are you? I'm Ludwig Miller, Associate Security Officer for Transportation. Officially? Unofficially? Strictly between you and me. I am the only thing standing between Edgewater and total annihilation. Okay, I'll let you be then. Come on, we've got places to go, people to see. Painting the water roll. Okay. Cool. So that's how I that's how I get from there to there. Seven. Give me a helmet. Do I got any corks? Uh, keep your distance close. Searching for repair bay. Error. Navigation systems failed. Unable to comply. I could probably fix that. I mean, if you wanted me to. Go ahead. Yep, I see the problem. His nav mod got dislodged. Must have taken a tumble. Just gotta give it a good push and wait for the click. There we go. Jeremy's good as new. Well, new by Spacer's Choice standards, anyhow. His name's Jeremy, by the by. Navigation systems operational. Optimal path toward repair bay detected. Initiating self-diagnostics. Oh, hey, don't you owe me some of her? Why did you know the name of the mechanical? On account of I fixed him. And he's Jeremy on account of his helmet. It's like Jeremy, the officer in True Romantic Tales of the Space Guard. Is that uh, something? Uh... Hebsa Shirley. I make a point to watch every Tuesday night. Be more careful out there, Jeremy! Hmm. Okay. That is drawing, and I'm gonna fix that. 
never showed the helmet. Because the cutscene didn't, and that made it really jarring. Self diagnostics initiated. Please do not disturb. Whisper stuff like that into my ear. Oh, hello. I look out! Something you need? No, okay, cool. Let's get going over. Up. There we go. Now let's get going over here. So we're actually gonna have to take our sweet time game through here. Gotta find a better gun. Evicted, evicted, evicted. And I have no clue what the sound that is. Surrounded us. 
Oh, we might be able to sneak through this way. Okay, I'm gonna... I don't know what that sound is. It sounds like it's literally like somebody's hitting a rebrub. Turned back around. Note to self, do not attack anything in this world. This difficulty might be a little excessive. I'm going. Don't know where that does. Ripple blade. That is actually looks really nice. Oh yeah. Okay, this is better. Wow. Okay. Your helmet. Let's see. How good is the helmet? Nine. Oh yeah, we'll take the nine. There go. We finally got something actually good. See what's in here. that I can sleep in. Cool. For the time being, this will be my house. So we find a better house.
alive. Move along, stranger. We don't want any trouble. I'm not trying to cause any trouble. I don't know you. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. I'm looking for Anna. I need some answers. Answers, huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Already got ourselves one of those. He reads it something about the former's walking living out in the wilderness. Yeah, that's us. And you can tell Thompson we're doing just fine by ourselves. If you're gonna start wandering around my camp, know that I got my sights on you. Where can I find Annabelle? Over in the hothouse, tending crop. Enough with the questions. No offense, but I've got a lot on my mind. We got a lot of problems, and I just got, I just got shot into space. Explains why you're still yammering on at me. No, I'm sorry. That was unworthy of me. Lady named Zoe went missing some nights ago. Just up and vanished without a trace. Now I'm pacing around wondering if Marauders got to her. You could go out looking for her. I go looking for Zoe, I leave the camp undefended, seeing as I'm the only one of us who knows her way around the gun. Hence my dilemma. Any ideas where she might be hiding? Vex me. If she told anybody, they ain't telling me. I'd check her room, but I got yelled at for snooping once already. You snooped around her room? Little ways ago. She was always obsessing over her serial dramas. Wanted to see what the fuss was about. How well do you know her? Well, enough to know we never got on. Zoe and Stefan were close. If anybody knows the workings of her mind, he does. Mm. She was lazy and thoughtless, but she's still one of our own. Mm, I'll keep an eye out. It's not like Zoe to go wandering. Figured she might be out scavenging, but that ain't exactly her talent. Can't imagine where she's gone. Vale's a wide place. She could be anywhere. Don't worry, I'll find her. Appreciate it. Honest. Bye. I think once I get there, that will end. Oh, that's Thomas. He used to follow me around before he left the cannery. Where's Thomas? Zoro. Zoro. Which one's Thomas? Are you Thomas? Keep your wits about you, friend. Keep your wits about you, friend. Who's Thomas? Yeah, huh? Who's the Thomas you speak of? But there's our newest person. Oh gosh, it's so pretty. It's blue. Woo! Kinda stepped on on me like that. Get here. So that we all can have a Alright, I'm on the move. Good. Make sure you here. But looking sure. Me. On my way. No. There you go. Moving. Okay. Well, we'll come back to this and just talk to her, see if we can get the alliance together.
if we can. Awesome. If we can't, well, that's what it is. But for now, we're gonna save it right here. And we'll come back afterwards and hopefully see what we can do. Other than that, bye bye for now, guys.